Hey there campers! Today we're actually going to start two projects. This is really exciting. Both of them need a little bit of time, so we're going to start two projects today and then tomorrow we'll finish them. Today we're going to start fossils and we are also going to start little abstract paintings. Really excited about both of these things, so come on, let's go! Hi campers! Today we're going to do two projects. The first one involves your cute little canvas. So go ahead and take this out. I don't think Bob Ross included videos of him opening paints. Okay, so now you're going to take your canvas and you're going to take your little easel and you're just going to put this away for later. So what we're going to do is we're going to prep these canvases for tomorrow. In order for us to have time for the paint to dry, we're going to do a first coat so then when we collage or paint on top of this canvas, it will be all dry and ready to go. Now I have a few of my colors out here and they're on top of a magazine just in case I want to mix right here. I think what I'm going to do is a gradient or an ombre effect. I'm going to fade from red to yellow. So I should get some orange in between. I'll start with some red. Then I'll rinse my brush dry it off and get some yellow. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. Now I'm going to wet my brush slightly and rub back and forth between the two colors. So I have an ombre canvas. Looks pretty good, right? Now, if you want to, you can paint the edges. This is Judy Chicago. She looks awesome, doesn't she? Anyways, Judy Chicago is an artist. She does all different types of art, she paints, and she does sculpture. I wanted to show you guys Judy Chicago because look at her artwork. She uses ombre, right, or gradients. These are colors that fade from one color to another. Now, Judy Chicago is an artist who is still alive today. She's 80 years old. Isn't she cool? Now I'm going to clean all of this up. Now before we start making fossils, let's talk about fossils a little bit. Now fossils happen when what was once a living creature and all of its organic material slowly get replaced with minerals. And the reason that we still get these shapes is because whatever was around that creature, like mud or sediment, creates a mold. So fossils, in a way, are a mold-making process that takes millions of years. Now, this guy, his name is Louis R. Purnell, and he's really important because, you know, he did some really important stuff at the Smithsonian. He said, in geology or paleontology, you are shown what is in the earth and it's amazing when you go back millions of years and you can find a fossil hold it in your hand and say this thing was living millions of years ago and you're holding the remains of it in your hand to study what inhabited the earth way back there so in your box you got a fossil mold you either got an ammonite or a Tyrannosaurus rex claw or a horseshoe crab because even though these animals are alive today, they were also alive in the time of the dinosaurs. Super cool. Or 
you got a trilobite. It's possible you also got some sort of prehistoric fish. I really wouldn't want to go swimming with that guy. So back to Mr. Purnell. I think that this guy is so interesting. His life was just super cool. I mean, first he was a pilot and then he became a paleontologist and a geologist. That's crazy, right? So if you have time, totally look him up. You can read his bio on the Smithsonian website and he's just super interesting. Next, I'm gonna wanna take out of my box my fossil mold. and my two containers of model magic. I just wanna open these up. Now I'm gonna combine these two together because we're gonna use this whole piece here. If there's any extra at the end, of course you can just use that for fun. This is air dry clay, so no need to preheat anything. Now I'm gonna take soap, a little bit of soap. It has to be liquid soap or dish soap. And this is going to be what's called our release in our mold. That means it will help the clay out of the mold once it's dry. Otherwise, if we just took this clay and stuck it right in here, it might be stuck for good. And then you'll end up scraping it out and you won't get that cool impression of a fossil that you're looking for. So I'm going to put some soap in here and rub it around. Once it's nice and slimy, it's ready to go. The next thing you want to do is take your model magic, make sure it's all nice and mushed together, and then you want to press it into the mold. Pushing it all the way in so it picks up all of those little details. I'm going to flip it over and make sure you don't see any big spots left. Now it's time to let it dry. So now we wait. If that took you a very short amount of time, it's no problem. Take out the bonus project that's in this box and see if you can take some time outside to collect some little bits of nature and make a bookmark. I'm letting these guys dry in the sun for a few hours, but if you think it's gonna rain, don't forget to bring them inside. You guys did great today. You're doing a wonderful job. I'll see you tomorrow.